um, so in the other circle one of the learning goals in this workshop is for us to understand what is meant by goodwill and how to account for them goodwill is a special case of an intangible What is goodwill? It arises only when another entity or another party acquires an entity or part of an entity. But when it acquires, it can identify all the assets but it pays something for something unidentified and that portion is called goodwill so it can't be purchased or sold separately but only with that total purchase for example if a third party buys another company and the assets minus liabilities are equal to $1,000 but it pays $1,300 to acquire so it can identify all the assets and liabilities that come to $1,000 but that excess that was paid is for something that cannot be identified but where the third party the buyer thought well it's worth it there's something in that some intangible some invisible assets in that that worth paying that amount of money so those assets collectively which are invisible are called intangibles for example it could be for the custom base that it bought it could be for efficient management or reliable suppliers or the staff that is working there that uh, the buyer thought are far more efficient than the other staff that are collectively called goodwill Just like internally generated intangibles and acquired intangibles, goodwill also can be classified as internally generated and acquired. So internally generated intangibles collectively, any cost in generating them, they become expenses they cannot be shown as an asset but when they are acquired by another party then that payment that cost can be shown as an asset intent as goodwill as a separate asset by the buyer So once the intangible, the goodwill has been bought by the buyer, it has a cost, asset cost. It can't be a mortars. It cannot be revealed, but it must be tested for impairment it must be tested for impairment so any loss in market value of the intangible becomes an expense that must be recorded For example, 
let's take the buyer paid $1,300 to acquire the company and its assets less liability is equal to 1000 so 300 is for the goodwill next year it values the company that it bought it's worth let's say it's 1200 but the assets and liabilities let's say is equal to 1000 so the total value is 1200 and the excess is 200 not 300 so the impairment loss is 100 because that 300 has become 200 the decrease in value of the goodwill becomes 100 that becomes an impairment loss and expense.